turns out your roommate with the lava lamp was right. The hemp plant really is going to help humanity wean from fossil fuels, uh, not just in our homes and vehicles, but in industry as well. Here are just a few of the already in place applications that I witnessed while researching hemp bound. Between these, these boards here, and uh, it's going to act as the wall and the insulation. And a real family, will a real family be moving in? Absolutely. As soon as it's completed, we're going to uh, find a family to live here. In Manitoba, we're very proud that our hemp producers are one of the largest exporters in Canada. So we want to support that and continue to support the agricultural industry as well as the housing industry. And so we have big hopes for, for the hemp farmers here. We also know it's a growing um, agricultural activity across Canada. And uh, we know that it's very much um, used in the, in the UK, in the, in the European Union, in terms of housing products and building products, commercial and residential. This is the woody portion on the inside, and that's used to create things um, such as this piece of fiberboard, so you can see that the, it's got the herd in there. It's also used to create um, like a hempcrete wall. So here we've got hemp mixed with lime binders, so all in, all in the same um, mode, using the same core ingredient. And then also you've got something like this product. This is um, a mushroom mycelia mixed with hemp herd to make a 100% compostable packaging material for replacement for like um, 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 styrofoam wrap. or bubble wrap type of scenario. On the industrial type of side, you get um, something like this um, batting. So this would be a direct replacement for pink insulation in your home. So you could directly replace this. Um, no toxic chemicals made um, to manufacture this. This is a non-woven matting and needle punch. Um, another thing that the bass fibers can go into is um, something like paper making. So this is a great little company. Um, that makes hemp paper, handmade hemp paper, and she uses the bass fiber to do that. Filling up a 1979 Mercedes limo, first owned by Ferdinand Marcos, with hemp no shoes oil in the trunk. fuel. No shoes in the trunk. None of them held the shoes in the trunk. Says Bill Althaus who acquired this Canadian hemp oil, someday domestic hemp oil, we hope. And we're gonna be driving around in this limo today, powered not by petroleum, but by the cannabis plant.